Hey everyone, Scunny here, and today I wanted to bring you a quick video on how to set up the RGB, control the RGB on your Gigabyte motherboard. You're not going to want to go to this website here, which is the RGB Fusion website, because if you go to the download page here, you can see that the utility for the motherboard, it has the RGB Fusion um, versions for the different Intel series but one of the things that you need for this RGB Fusion to work is App Center. Um, and the App Center that they have available on this site is for AMD and not Intel. So if you have an Intel chip um, you're going to want to uh, bypass going to this RGB Fusion site and go directly to your motherboard site. So I have the new C370 Gaming 5 motherboard. Um, so we're going to go to that motherboard's product page and then we want to click on support and then all the way down at the bottom here under the drivers you want to go to utilities. Now you get a CD with this stuff as well um, if you wanted to put the CD in and do that, but going to the website ensures that you have the most up-to-date versions of these, so I, I recommend doing that instead. Um, so you have the RGB Fusion uh, software right here. You can download that, but don't install it yet. Um, like it says, you're going to need to install the App Center first. So if you scroll down, you see here App Center. So you want to download that, install that, then install the RGB Fusion um, software. Launch the App Center, and then you'll see RGB Fusion right here. Um, you can click on that, and then it allows you to uh, do basic, advanced, or intelligent options. Um, the advanced options allow you to choose what settings you have for each uh, section of the motherboard. I have everything set to green because I have the I have a Razer H440 case so it looks good with all the green. Um, but in here the RGB Fusion software itself is a bit finicky. Um, I, you can tell by like if you change certain things sometimes certain sections won't light up. If you go to change a different thing if I say if I go to change my um, if you click down here, peripheral devices, you can see the graphics card and the RAM that I have. Um, if I go to change settings on here, it will turn the lights off on the motherboard or it will, um, turn the lights off on the RAM and then you have to go back and set them how you want them again. Um, it's just, it's not confidence inspiring. It's not something that's totally bug free and it's not as user friendly as um, some of the other software out there but it does get the job done um, and it does have quite a bit of different options that you can choose from um, on the on the different types of ways it flashes and everything so it's just a quick video of how to control the RGB settings on your motherboard um, as well as the, your this has options for your graphics card and your RAM as well. Um, so I hope that helped. If you were trying to install the RGB Fusion app by itself and trying to run it, it would not run. So you need the App Center to be able to uh, initialize this software or have it run correctly. So yeah, I hope this was helpful and leave a like if it was and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, bye.